So today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be shooting a video here with this Luba mower from Emotion. I've had this for about 30 days, about a month, and honestly, I'm loving it so far. So I'm going to show you guys how I've been using it, what I think of it, do a little bit of a review to show you guys how this mower works. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, I've been using this all-wheel drive 5000 Luba mower, which honestly is so handy, because it's doing my paddock area just here, which is 5,000 square meters pretty much on the dot so it has been perfect for this now as you can see it's been doing this space behind me and keeping it super super tidy I've had a nice bit of rain recently too so it's really brightened this place up but it was really a huge chore for me to keep on top of this area um, especially with working on the golf green the golf green surrounds and the kai queue over there this was starting to become a bit of a chore and it's starting to become a little bit overgrown so this has been a super super handy mower and especially with the all drive it does so much for me. Gets in all the little nooks and crannies around the area. It actually does this big slope over the side here as well, which you guys have seen me do on camera before, which usually takes me 20 minutes to mow. Now this thing does it. So I'll show you. Come check this out. So one of the key benefits that really drew me to this mower is that it can do slopes like this here on my property. Because it's got its all-wheel drive, so it's, it's got a four-wheel drive on it basically, it can do slopes up to 75 degrees, which is just absolutely ridiculous. And it does this area here with ease. This would be, it'd be about a 50 degree slope, so it's not quite 75 degrees, but honestly, you can go up and backwards and it doesn't slip. As you can see, straight up and down, and it mows this area really well. And the thing is, because it's got that all-wheel drive and the way the wheels are designed, like it goes through all those humps and bumps super, super easily. So on a paddock area like this, you don't need a super level area. It's not gonna get stuck like other mowers can, other robot mowers can get stuck. Like the all-wheel drive feature on this and the wheels that they've designed for it are just ridiculous. So super, super handy. I've had it here for a month mowing this whole area and it has just been like man it's just been handy is probably the best word i can describe for it time saving to a huge amount but we'll talk about a few of the details and the specs of how this works i'm sure you guys want to know about it but there is a couple of different models so the luba comes in three different models the 1000 the 3000 and the 5000 like i've got here now <laughs> something that's absolutely awesome and a little bit ahead of its game at the moment is it is wire free so you don't need wires and perimeter wires in the ground like you do with my other robot mowers to help it run over the areas for yourself. So it makes it super easy because you can make different zones and different sections. Also no-go zones just by mapping it out with the mower itself, which is super simple. I mean, if I go away on holidays, I could decide to map out the surrounds of my green here if we go away on holidays. I could decide to do the Kai Q, which you might actually map out now and show you guys how easy this is to do. So I've got my paddock set up, but I want to get this to do the Kai Q as well for when I'm away. So. As I said, you don't need wires to do this. We just have to set the perimeter with this phone app just here. So I'll record what's happening on my screen, but let's create an area here, add a task area. This is so simple to do. And then all we have to do is drive this around the boundary here. So I'll show you. Done, back at the start. So hit save, so you can see it tells you how big the area is. So it's actually a little bit bigger than 200 square meters. So I did go a little bit wider than what I originally measured it out to. So we're pretty close. So we save that. So let's do a little test mode area on this. So I'll show you all the settings you can put into place for this and show you how it actually works. So let's just zoom in on the map. So I hit that area and I tap mow. You can see we've got some task mode settings in here, which I didn't realize this until I'd used it for about two weeks, that all these extra settings are in here. We can do high cut, so if you've got really high cut grass, it will just have the obstacle avoidance turned off, because when you hit into a little wrong grass, obviously when it taps the front of the bar, it does set it off and thinks it's an obstacle there. So I actually mowed the paddock over there, which I'll put some shots up when it was quite long, and it did a very good job, very, very good job. It even got the slope really, really well. Obviously it's gonna cut it a lot higher as well, so the highest cut when you're cutting that really tall grass. Wouldn't recommend doing it if it's way too long and thick, but if it's like spindly and easy to get through, it works really, really well. I've got efficient cutting, so it'll mow it really, really quick if you wanna get a quick mode on the area. Fine cutting, so it's gonna have the spacing with overlap a little bit more. And it's gonna um, mow a little bit slower as well. So you can also customize it, so we can do our path spacing and change it back to 20 or 30. We could also change our speed if we want. Obstacle detecting mode, so we can have a high or low. Perimeter mow lap, so you can set three mows on the perimeter. 
Let's just do the one, let's do it. Let's just do a single grid. I just wanna see how this works. And let's make it, let's make it pretty fast because it's not very long. Now where's our height of cut? Now that, that, got to confirm, change our height of cut here. Let's bring it down to the lowest. So the lowest height it can do is 30 mil. And the highest we can go from memory is about 70. Yep, 70 mil. There we go. So let's try a 30 mil. Let's hit play. Let's see how this goes. So I did, when I put this perimeter pass in, I did let the wheels hang over in the concrete a bit, which probably wasn't smart because it's actually on an angle when it's mowing, but it's figured it out and it's actually raised the height of cut for the edge there so it can keep mowing so it doesn't put too much overload on the motors. So also quite smart and it will adjust if it thinks it needs the height of cut to come up as well, which is great. And it's actually doing quite a good job on the cut quality. You can see we're getting a little bit of grass off here, but it looks nice and tidy. Not tearing any leaf blades either, which is good considering it's been doing the paddock over there and run into a few rocks and a couple of different things. So for your first mow, obviously you have to find out where your obstacles are, make sure you move them. But after that, it just, it's just smooth sailing. So with those no-go zones that I mentioned earlier as well, say if you had an area that had to go through a gate or something to mow your front yard or go across a driveway, you can set areas like a path for it to get to your next section of the lawn but still be part of the one mowing area. So I've got a mate in town that actually just bought one recently. He's the guy that I used to do um, the renos on in town. He's got about 2,000 square metres as well and he wanted to do his front lawn so he was going to buy two of them. I said, no, you can actually just run the mower on a separate path and make it a separate section if you want or even the same and it will bypass all your concrete and stuff and mow through those areas as well. So super handy, just how flexible it is and how you don't have to get multiple mowers to look after your whole area. So once the mower is finished there mowing that area, I might actually set it up to come and mow just over here as well, because this area here is full of kaikyu and I think it could start to look pure if it got regular mowing done on. This is one of the areas I neglect a bit because I've got 12 acres here all up. We are mow about six acres of it and it's time consuming, as you can imagine. And since I want to focus on the golf course so much, these areas do get a bit neglected. So as I've talked to you guys about regularly, is you've got to make sure you've got areas being mowed regularly so they're healthy and lush. Obviously, once you're mowing regularly as well, those weeds are going to get eradicated and it will look a lot schmicker. You won't get those scalpy patches because you are getting some regular mowing done. So I definitely just set it up here. And I think this area should really start to shine with mowing one to two times a week instead of once every three three weeks, which is what I've been doing at the moment, which is why I mowed this yesterday. You can see it's just scalped a bit here, so it should, should also eliminate that. And the big thing is I was considering getting another robot mower here with the perimeter wire, but since we can just set this up off the same one that's doing my paddock on a different day, why not? Why not just make another zone? Now, one of the cons that I did find is I did have a little bit of a problem with the software just being a little bit glitchy for the first few days that I used it. Now, luckily, because it is firmware and software, it can be updated and I haven't had any problems in the last little bit, so I don't know if they've done an update since then. But yeah, that is probably one of the cons is the software could sometimes be a little bit glitchy, but it seems to be working well now. But apart from that, like, I couldn't recommend this more enough. Big time saving thing for me personally. And I mean, when I'm away, I can get it, as I said, to do the green surrounds, do the fairway once the fairway's in, do the top section of the paddock, come over here and do the kai queue, do this part behind the house. Like I can set all the zones and I can control that from when I'm away at the beach or something, just click do this zone or set your schedule as well on the app. And you can do your efficient cutting, your fine cutting. This area here, I'll do a fine cut, so it will take longer to mow it but it's gonna come up a lot schmicker and a lot tidier as well. So as I was saying before, it goes straight and up and down. You can choose the patterns you want to do, but as you can imagine, it's gonna be so much more efficient than bouncing around randomly because you do find with the ones that have perimeter wires, they do tend to bounce around your boundaries and they can overlap on areas, which means they work, obviously, but this is so much more efficient because you're just mowing what you need to mow, which is gonna save you battery and you need to get more done with it as well. Well, thanks guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Really, really cool to see how far technology has come and how these mowers actually work. Like I didn't think in my 30s we'd have robot mowers doing the lawn mowing for us. Obviously I still enjoy mowing, but with this huge property, it is just super, super time saving. And it does a good job, even with it over in this front section, away from the antenna, still doesn't lose signal as well. So, which I was actually, I didn't think that would work like that, but it does, works well. But yeah, crazy is how far technology has come. 
it's just ridiculous. But make sure you guys check out my motion and the Luba mowers on their website. I'll link it on the screen here and in the description below. They've got all the different types of mowers on there. But thanks guys so much for watching, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.